y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Stuff Sis Lion Space. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. All right, today we are going to be um, decorating a wipe lid. So baby wipes, flushable wipes, hand wipes, whatever kind of wipes that have these lids. Okay. Now it still has the sticky stuff on the back, which is good because I need to really manipulate this. So I have a fingernail file. And then I also have this little sandpaper thing. So I don't know what's going to work better. I love decorating these though. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking the fingernail file and trying to kind of smooth out that <clears throat> the writing that's on here. It won't completely go away, but you can make it a little flatter so it doesn't stick up as much. So that is what I'm doing. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's definitely sanded up. And also, too, I want to get rid of the the shiny that's on there. Um, I'm going to kind of go in and do a little bit as much as I can. Because this is going to get painted. Okay, now... Just gonna take a wet baby wipe and wipe it just to get all the dust and stuff off, right? There we go. Like I'm cleaning off that. Okay, so that is sanded to the best of my ability. This is just a dry baby wipe, but I'm gonna do that. Okay, now, what I love to do is use napkins to put on top to cover it. Uh, this one, I already have the backing peeled off. If you would like to see a video on using napkins, I have one. Um, I will try to remember to link it up there for y'all or in the description box. Hopefully me seeing my finger do that when I edit <laughs> will help. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out. See, once you put a napkin on... It definitely, uh, can we get that off? It definitely covers up the, the raised writing, right? Okay. Now the reason I'm opening it up like this is not because I really need it on the back side, but I do want it to go in the grooves and down the uh, sides. So like this side right here. <clears throat> so, I kind of want it open so I can see what I am doing. Alright, so what I am going to do is just cut this down because there's no need for me to work with this ginormous piece. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about the sticky stuff. See if I can get some of that sticky stuff off. You know, it's what sticks to the actual package, the wipe package. But my napkin is going to stick to it, and that's probably not going to be good. 
Man, this stuff really does not want to come off. All right, I'm just going to fast forward through this. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it will work. All right, let's get down to business, man. It's taken me a hot minute to get this done. All right, so now I want to use my Mod Podge. And I have the, uh, I have white, but I also have this one. It's antique matte, and I like using it. So we're going to use that one. We get a paintbrush out. Okay. Let me get this all done. Okay, and then I have shooken it significantly. <laughs> Whatever words. Okay, so I am going to dip it. And we're just going to cover it. I had to order this off of Amazon. Because none of my craft stores have the antique mat. I'm going to get down in, in the little groove here. And then I also want to make sure I go around the edges. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so now I'm just going to, you know, paint over it with the Mod Podge. I'm trying to get the, uh, the edges right there really good to the best of my ability anyway I may end up just flipping it we'll see if I can because that is the like the lip right there so that one that little piece may be a tad different. Let me see if I can. There we go. And I like the wrinkles, so that doesn't, the wrinkles don't bother me. Okay, now, uh, where is, this is the water brush. I prefer the pen for most things, but the, this brush is going to be good for this part. So I'm just going to go way far out. And just kind of tear it see that's what I was hoping to avoid was that I know this is tedious work worth it in the end though I would show you an example of one I've done but I just sent that to one of my patrons that's one that she has been wanting for ever since I made it <laughs> and I gave it to her for her birthday all right I'm gonna pick this up and then we are going to 
get that over and down. Like so. All right, so now, all right, we are back. So this is dry, and now I'm just gonna take the file and just kind of file the edges. <laughs> now I'm not worried about that because that's gonna be on the back side, so no one's really gonna see it, and I'm probably gonna add paper to it anyway. Okay, there we go. That is done. So that part is done. And now we need to, I'm going to paint the inside. That's what I got this for. And I need a pretty... All right, let's give this a whirl. And I don't think this paint wants to behave. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go get some different paint, of course. Because this is just not, not happening. I wonder what this will work. I don't know, before I go we'll hop up and, well, I know it ain't gonna work with that paintbrush, let me see. Okay, I just had, all right, I, let me see if this is gonna work. This is like an antique uh, rub and buff. Nope. <laughs> All right, let me go get some more paint. Okay, let me try these. My uh, channel is nothing if not irritatingly unorganized. Hmm. All right, I guess I will go with this one. I probably need to try to clean some of this up. Now that rub and buff didn't do too terribly bad, actually. But I actually may have plans for that somewhere else. So <clears throat> I'm going to try this one. This I know I got a Hobby Lobby orange sticker. That looks more like what I am going for. All right. Not with this brush, though. <laughs> Not with that one. Where are all my, there we go. It's like I just cleaned all the brushes out of the bathroom. Okay, so now we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back and start another layer. Okay, we are back. So this is all dry and I am going to cut out this. I just traced around the back side. I'm going to cut this out to glue on the back. That is perfect. So 
Now all I'm going to do is this little piece, this piece, um, where is my glue stick? I like doing it with glue stick when I'm just doing little pieces like this as opposed to getting out the, uh, the Mod Podge. Goodness, I cannot finish a thought or a sentence to save my life. pencil or pen like the other one I used was a uh, a water brush this is more of a, a fine point pen to me it is just uh, a little more accurate you know the brush kind of spreads out where this is like a pen and you can just like draw right around there we go And did I put the, nope, I was like, did I put the file up? Again, that doesn't have to be perfect. Am I thrilled with the inside of this? No. No, I am not. I may or may not be able to fix it or do something about it. I'm not worried about it right now, though. Because um, sometimes, once I start decorating and what have you, like, honestly, I could probably get, like, a photo and put, like, right here, right? Like, it would be a frame. It would be, like, on a wall. Um, so I think there's just things I can... I can do if I want to, <clears throat> but I want to show you how to decorate the outside. All right, so I'm just going to take the hot glue. I'll have to trim that up a little bit. It's okay. All right, put her back. That's Glinda. That is the name of my glue gun. Glinda the glue gun. Okay. So we have the front and the inside. Now we are going to decorate. And I got out all my flowers. Well, not all, but... Ones that I thought would look good on here. So I have like these to pick up the red. It's kind of smushed. We can pick up the red a little bit. Um, I don't know. I'm playing around. I'm gonna see what looks good and what doesn't. Um, where are my little buds? That's what I want. I couldn't get them to fit in all in this, so I had to take some out. Um, I think that might be a bit harsh, so I'm gonna go with maybe that, or maybe that. I don't know yet. Um, no. All right, set that to the side. I'm thinking I will just take, like, cut that off. I'm just digging through flowers at this point. 
see what strikes my fancy. It's lining them up, right? Maybe like that. Hmm. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that one. But I do have these little ones in here. So maybe we go back to the pink. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Alright, what is this one? Alright, so we have that. Um oh look at this. I thought that was a smaller one. It's just a different Alright. That one I think is too flat. I could probably put it maybe up here. Kind of. Because once they're glued, right, they will. No, I don't like this one. Um, we do like one of those, and hmm. Let's see what else I have in here. Probably just another one. So we're just gonna have that that situation going on. Um, this goes on top of that. Let me not put anything away. Let me just just have it all up on this desk. Small one. I do have like that. No, I'm not thrilled with that one though. So I'm thinking, but I also wanted to do some lace. So I got some like uh, off white lace. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I was thinking a bow, right? These are always so, so tedious for me. Like I don't know how to tie shoes. It's just different when it's like this. Okay, that is just obnoxiously too big. <laughs> this is why it takes me forever. Uh, but I know y'all are here for it, right? Okay. So 
I don't want to cut it until I know that is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that can go like that. Um, that can go there. It get kind of smushed down, but I'm okay like that. And then maybe we just put some, okay, let me just get this bow on here. I'm going to commit y'all. I have no idea what it's going to look like, if I'm even going to like it, but we won't know until we commit, right? Until we put it down. I don't even know if y'all can see. I'm trying to watch my battery too. I've had to stop and start this thing so many times. This is a, uh, a process. <laughs> put that there and then I do kind of like that one right there it kind of covers up that little bit of the inside that I wasn't too thrilled with so that's good let's do that and maybe that's all I do or maybe I put a little cluster down here but I think that's too much I think this is going to be it, but is this the, the good one, or should I do that one that has a little more pink in it? Or at this point now, since I have changed the whole entire aesthetic, maybe this one is better to pick that up. And actually, I think yes, I think this one is better to really highlight the red that is in All right this one just it's not, ah this one I think that one's gonna make me happy sometimes they just get smushed right it's like um Hold it right there. There we go. Put her back up. Okay, all of these I'll end up having to put up. Okay, if only this would stay down a little more. We know how to fix that, right? Okay. And there we have it. A beautiful little topper to go on a page. What have you. You can put something in the middle. I wouldn't. I'm going to leave it just like this. And then I will brainstorm on what to do on the inside. I really feel that a picture would be good there. Um, something like this. I told y'all I wasn't gonna do it, but here I am. Okay, those are all too big. are too big so you just putting something in the middle can just take away that the rough look the roughness these are all couples these are all mixed up is what they are some of them are just they're so large. No, I don't like that one. I kind of like the the that one. Just trying to see if there's any other ones. I don't 
Oh, that's too good. Let me get her back out. Now I'm in here, I've committed, right? That is a cute little girl. Now it needs to have some white. Like the, like the white dress. I'm not opposed to cutting people apart. If you watched any of my videos, you know. <laughs> I don't have a problem cutting people apart. I think I'm going to go with her. I could look through here all day long, but we're going to go with that one. Let's set that over here. get the puffy tape out okay battery died so um oh yes her so I need to trim her up a bit um um okay I need to Go, like a little locket. Okay, let me get the puffy tape. piece for her head. Also had another idea to help with some of that. And uh, that's least. Sorry. I know y'all are like, and what is your idea? Are you going to finish your sentence ever? <sighs> it's overrated, y'all. Finishing one sentences. Heck, just knowing what I want to say is a miracle upon itself. Okay, let's take this off. Take some extreme concentration. She's in there, right? Um, and I thought about see, that's too that's too wide. <sighs> like having this in there. But I don't think so. I think I'm just pushing it. Right? Yeah, it's. I'm just pushing it. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then we can think of something to go there. Maybe a quote or something. Um, but I like that. And now we're going to close it. And this is good just to go on top of a journal. On top of a page. On top of whatever you want. Um, it's like a little topper. And you can put... You know, uh, you can hang a dangle in here or a charm or all kinds of things. The, the potential is limitless. So save those wipe lids. I have a whole bunch of them. And they do turn into very, very pretty items. So let me hold that up so y'all can get a good look at it. I like it. It's very pretty. It will look good on something. I'm trying to see around here if I have anything. Like this is what I did the other day. I wouldn't put it on this one, but you can see 
how that would look gorgeous itself just in a book or on a book or wherever so super pretty all right guys y'all know what to do don't forget to like subscribe ring the bell share um and until next time y'all have a blessed day bye